Hello? Can you guys hear me? Hi guys. Is the sound good? Hi everyone. Chat, is the mic setting okay? Can you hear me? Cool, cool. And you can hear the music too? Hi everyone. A lot of you guys requested a Minecraft panda, so I thought we could design one today. Um, I already prepared some parts for the body, but uh, I'll do a live design of the head and then we can work on the body afterwards because the panda is really large. It's probably bigger than the polar bear. So. I estimate if I make uh, the body with midi beads, like the regular sized beads, it'll be like much larger than this polar bear. So I'm gonna just use uh, midi beads for the head and then show you uh, how I'm gonna make a mini bead body so that it'll be like a, like a baby panda. Did you decide to make the panda yourself or did you see my comment? I saw a lot of different comments asking for a Minecraft panda, so yours is probably one of them. How long do you iron mini beads? I keep melting them too much. Uh, well, for mini beads, I always leave the iron setting on the lowest and I just iron until I see that um, there's no line between the beads, but you can still see the hole in each of the beads. It's usually like more than a minute on each side, depending on the size. Okay, so let's change to the pegboard. So I got my panda here. This is the regular panda that you can see on Minecraft. I guess the silly panda. They have lots of different faces. And I think I'm gonna make a second panda with like a a cutesy face or I could do like the crying sick panda there's also an angry panda too that you could do but uh, today I'll just be doing this normal panda face uh, where do you find the acrylic rods that I use uh, if you're talking about these kind of acrylic rods they are from art cal I will be using uh, one of these later on to attach the head, but that'll probably be a little while into the live stream. Hi, Carmen. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, is the, is the music too loud or too quiet? So, first I want to show you guys the colors I will be using for the panda head. I've got, okay, I've got black, and then this is S79, a gray from Arcal, and then I might use one of these two. Uh, these are S78 and S77. They're like a very, very light shade of gray, but closer to white. And lastly, of course, I've got white beads. And oh yeah, I need pink ones later to make the 
little tongue that's sticking out. Okay, so let's get started with making the panda's head. What I like to do is make the full square, or like not, not the square, the full rectangle of uh, the panda's front face and all the sides. And then I also have uh, my polar bear here for reference because the ears will need to be attached in a special way like this. But let's just start making all of the, the rectangular pieces. The panda's head looks like it's... Uh, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's 13 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 13 by 10. 13 by 10. Okay. So that's the rectangle we have to make. Are you guys also perler beating at the same time as me or what are you guys doing? Are you studying? Six. Okay, still need some more here. Oh, this is really big. This is probably the biggest head I'll ever make. Because, or unless I make the Ender Dragon, I think that will be the biggest. Or six, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen. That should be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll start going down and making the the big black circles around its eye. Uh, right now for me, it's almost 4 p.m. What time is it for you guys? I'm in Eastern Standard Time. Uh, let's count how many did I do so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two, 6, okay. 2 more beads, and then that will be the same on the other side. Okay. Two, four, six. Almost done the head. I'll add a bit of the shading to the bottom of the of the face later and also I think the hardest part about the panda design is going to be the snout, how to attach the snout because for the polar bear I had to uh, figure out a way to do the same thing see like because it's sticking out like that in the polar bear it, you can kind of just pull it out like that I don't want to break it, but you can pull it out like that. So I think I'll do something slightly similar, but um, different. 
to the panda. I, I'm going to try to attach the... I'm going to make the whole bottom part of the head all one piece so that you'll see. You'll see what I'm going to try to do. The white looks a bit pink. Sorry, it's probably the lighting. But yeah, it's it's white. Okay, let's continue with the eyes. If you guys make your own panda, what kind of uh, panda face do you want it to have? Do you want it to have like the angry face, the sad face, the, uh, the tongue sticking out face like the one I'm doing now? There's lots of different faces. get some white for eyes I think that's right wow look at that that's huge this is like a really large face oh my gosh that's like double the size of the polar bear I'm gonna use up so many of my black and white beads also like the gray ones like the the grayscale beads Okay, almost done. The eyes. Uh, I think I need a really dark gray right beside the pupil. So here, got some really dark gray. Goes right here. Do you guys use tweezers? when you're pearly reading or do you just use your fingertips I, I i just like using my fingers it's a lot easier but i'm also practicing uh using my tweezers to pick these up i will try to make the ender dragon eventually i've never even seen the ender dragon in the game so i would like to uh, get to that point in the game first before i make it and also have to make sure i have enough of uh, the black beads to make it because i am running low i don't think i'll have enough to make uh, the ender dragon right now Okay, the eyes. It's kind of hard to tell what's underneath the snout of the panda. Uh, but I'm just gonna guess what colors I'll put. I think I'll just use the... i just mix it up with white and a lighter white because I want to save some of my black beads. Hello anyone who's just joining in okay let's add some shading i'm using a lighter gray up here and here Do you have Hobby Lobby in Canada? Mm, I don't... I don't think so. I've never... I've never been to one. I, I've only heard of it from like American YouTubers, but... Uh, I don't think we have a Hobby Lobby. I think that's an American thing. Uh, 
Okay, almost finished half of the panda's face. The middle part here is going to be covered by a snout anyway, so I don't think it matters too much what color you make it. But I do have to figure out a way to attach the snout to it, so there will be some holes that I will leave um, around this area. Hmm, I'm thinking what colors, what shade I should use for some of these. I have like all sorts of different uh, grays from ArtCal. They have like a whole grayscale set. And it's really good for shading, especially if you do uh, black and white portraits. But I'm also running pretty low on, on this one. I think I'll, I'll be using mostly this one for the shading, but I'm going to use it all up, probably. Okay, shading done. Okay. Saying hello from Portugal. Hello from Canada. Yeah, you should do a Perler Beats collection. I've been doing um, a lot of Perler Beat collections over the years. You should check out my playlist. It's um, 2015 to 2020. I've done five Perler Beat collections, so I think you'll enjoy watching those. So I've done, I think the most parts, yeah, this is, this is where there will be a snout in front of it. So it doesn't really matter what color you pick. So I'm just going to fill it up with uh, some white beads, I think. Yeah. Uh, let me check how large is the snout. It's a one, two, three, four, five by... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, five, seven. Yeah, okay, so this whole area doesn't really matter what color you fill it up with. Uh, I'll fill it up with some white beads because I have a lot of white beads. And actually, I could probably save on some beads by not filling it up completely. But once I, yeah, once I start making the connecting points, you guys can see how you can also save on your beads by not filling up the whole space. You should make a Minecraft cat. I would love to make a cat. There are so many uh, different color variations of cats in the game. I still haven't tamed my own cat, but I would... I'd really love to get one of the Siamese cats for uh, my Minecraft world. It can be a barn cat because in my world I have like a huge barn for, well not a barn, like a stable to hold all of my horses. Would you guys be interested in seeing my Minecraft world? Maybe I can stream some Minecraft one day. So this is basically what the face piece should look like, but we haven't made the, the edges so that it can be a puzzle piece that'll connect with the other sides. I didn't realize how large its face would be. So um, I like to make like the square a square, like not a square, a rectangle piece first, like a full rectangle before I start removing them, like, like removing beads like this to make the the jagged edges. Uh, but I'm running out of some space, so 
Let me just see how I can get another pegboard. Mm. Or actually, will this fit? Let's count how big this piece is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight by by two, four, six, eight, ten, eight by ten. That's eighty beads. The panda without a nose really does look creepy. Yeah, a little bit. It doesn't have a mouth, so it does look kind of scary. Two, four, six. I don't have enough space here, but I'll just add another pegboard here. So now I am going to do... Maybe I should do the top portion first because that's really easy. It's just all white beads. And that again is one, two, three. It should be eight by ten. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that one fits. Have you done a llama? I have not done a llama yet, but uh, I did raise a few llamas in one of the Minecraft servers that I'm in. And they all have very beautiful like colors to them. Like they have um, a saddle on them. That looks really nice. It's, they have all sorts of colors for llamas. So I want to make a whole bunch of different Llamas with different, uh, I don't know what it's called, but like you put a, you put a carpet piece, not a carpet or like in Minecraft, there's a, there's, there's a thing that you can craft that if you attach it to the llama, it will ha have like a, a really nice costume. So the top part of the panda's head is just completely white. Oh wait, no, there's actually a little bit of gray here. Let me use my tweezers for that. Here, there's some gray. Just randomly in the corner. Okay, and then we just fill the rest of it up with white. Do you play guitar? Yes, I play guitar. I have two guitars right behind me. This one is my electric guitar. That one is an old classical guitar. It doesn't actually have any strings to it because I want to restring it eventually. And I, I never learned um, how to play classical guitar on that specific guitar. I learned, um, I mostly learned everything on electric guitar, even though I'm not really playing electric guitar style songs. Thanks for joining the stream, uh, dancing asparagus. <laughs> You should make a fish, a Minecraft fish. I wonder how that would work. They look because they're so small. Uh, I don't know if I can make it 3D. 
it should be able to. I don't know. I'll see if I can make a Minecraft fish. There are lots of animals I still have to make, which I'm really happy about, and they keep adding uh, new ones. So I think I'll be able to make Minecraft figures for a pretty long time. As long as I have enough beads. A skeleton. Uh, I've actually already made a skeleton. You can check out the tutorial for that one. It was hard to figure out, um, but I think it's pretty easy if you just follow the templates and uh, see how I assembled it. Hi, Mason. That's awesome. You're going to get a full set of art cow beads i've been using my set for a really long time so i hope it lasts you a long time too almost done the top of the head Okay, another piece done. Uh, you can actually start uh, thinking of how to attach this piece to this piece already. So, uh, see if I make it, if I want to make the pieces jagged like this, like the jagged ed edges, then I can do it like this. I could do three up here, like that. So if the top here looks like this, that means I have to keep three beads here and remove these two. Remove. And okay, let's remove these. And then, so one, two, three will fit into here, and then one, two, three will fit in here, but these three have to fit into here. So that's how they will connect. And then if you want it to be symmetric, then you can do the same over here, like this. Like this. Okay, and then uh, same thing goes for here, but because there are two gray beads here, I have to remember to use. I have to remember to use these two gray beads for the uh, bottom piece, which will be, be the same as as this once I finish. Okay, first I'll just save these two for later and then This is what it's starting to look like, the puzzle pieces. And then I have to make the side piece. How long do the 3D projects take to finish? Uh, well, to figure them out, it probably takes a couple of hours to do that. 
but to if you just copy down the templates I'm using or like the templates I make then I think it shouldn't take too long just a couple of hours you can finish it in an evening uh, if you really dedicate all your time to it so for the side piece uh, let's first do the square sorry I keep saying square it's a rectangle let's first do the rectangle how it would look and then we can worry about how to make it into a puzzle piece Four, five, one, two, three. It should be eight. Yeah, so uh, this should be the same as here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This should also be two, four, six, eight. Okay, the side of the eyes here require some black beads. That's all the black beads I'm going to need. And then Mm. Use some really, really light gray. I can't finish my Minecraft. I can't finish my Minecraft skin project because our cat changed S18 color. Mm, sorry, not sure what you mean. Uh, oh yeah, if you want to make your own Minecraft skin, maybe I should. I should definitely make a video just dedicated to how to turn your own skin into a Perler Beach figure. Okay, this should, oops, this is going too far. It should be like this. Ta -da. And then I'll use some darker gray down here. Almost done. The rest should just be white. And then we can start figuring out how to attach this piece to these two pieces. And once we figure out these three, it's easy to make the rest of it because we'll be making just two of each pieces but uh they'll be different they'll have different coloration to it you'll see you'll see it's hard to explain all right this one is all done now we can start figuring out how to make this into a puzzle piece. Let me try, let me move it over a bit so you can see. All right. Uh, now that we have the side of the panda's face, uh, I always base all of the pieces off from this front facing piece. Like whatever I do to this piece, the others will be affected. 
So, let's say I want to make the puzzle piece look like this. Like, leave two spaces like that. And that means uh, I have to take away the beads here so that it will fit. See? That's how it can fit, but I don't... I think this white piece should be... This white bead should be black instead. And that's how I figure out uh, how to attach this to this. But how about attaching this to this? And we have to look up here on this top row and the very side uh, of, of this one. Uh, thank you, Yawk Curl. Uh, he says his daughter loves to watch my videos, so thank you. Say thanks to your daughter. Uh, okay, okay. Let's figure out how to make this into a puzzle piece. So I have to remember this part will attach here. And then here, let's say, I want it to attach to this part. Then it would just be one, two, three, one, two, here, remove. These two pieces and this piece. And then, yeah, and then this will be the same, like so. And that that piece can attach and that's it okay let's continue with the other side of these pieces so since i left holes here or like spaces here We need to make some more spaces over here. And then this piece is done. Hmm, let me see. Do I like how this looks? I feel like if I do it like this, it might be more symmetric. Okay, I'll do it like this, actually. Uh, sometimes these tweezers don't pick up the beads. If I do it like that, then I'll have to change this up a bit. Am I going to put it in a video? Yeah, I'm going to uh, turn this into like a full tutorial, so don't worry, this is just uh, me designing it live with you guys, just showing you the design process. Um, but I will be making a full tutorial that's all edited and shorter. Uh, this is just to hang out and chill. Mm, 
I'm thinking if I should start also doing the ears because the ears have to connect into the head as well. I try not to use any glue for these, so I'm thinking how to attach the holes. Hmm. And also, one, two, three, yeah, also the snout. I have to consider the snout for this one too. Uh, okay. Let me take a look at the polar bear for some help designing. So this is how I attach the ears for the bear. Uh, hi, Faith. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to make holes in the middle for the nose. Yep, I have to remember that. Hmm, okay. So I'm, I'm trying to remember how I did this polar bear. Yeah, in the middle, I left a hole for the ears. So, one, two, let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's one, this ear is in the fourth position. So to attach the ear, I have to make a space. One, two, three, four. Hmm, let's think a bit. So I have to... Let me remove some of these beads first. So I have some more space. Okay, so to attach the ear, I think I need to leave a space here. I know, this piece looks really strange. Is there a better way to make it? Mm. Let me think for a little bit. So these two pieces, these two beads will go here, these two will go here. Uh, then there will be space here to connect the, the ears. And let's, oh wait, the ear is really large. I also need to make a space. Oh, this is tricky. I also have to make a space in here as well so that the ear can f slide in. So I need to take away two there, and then uh, two here. Will you do Minecraft bamboo for the panda to eat? Oh yeah, I, I definitely should. Uh, I think the bamboo shouldn't be too hard to make, so I'll, I'll remember to make a bamboo in my final video. Okay, so uh, let me just make the ears so I can get an idea how I'm going to attach it. The ear looks to be a four by four piece. So it's like this. Now, how do we attach it? Uh, well, Hmm, okay, that's the ear. 
I'm gonna make two of those. Oops, you can't even see it. What am I doing? Here, I'll move it up so you can see. Flappy ears almost done, but I need to uh, add a little, like a little connection point. So let's see. The, in the polar bear, it looks like this. Oh, hmm. Yeah, okay. So, I just want to make sure I don't mess up the ears. The way I did it for the polar bear is the same idea, right? So, it should be... I should just add this little connection point to it. Is that going to work? Mm, let me just double check to see. One, two, three, four. Yep, I think that's going to work. Hi, Nil. Thanks for joining the stream. Oh, Verner's, uh, to answer your question, I think, yeah, I asked them about that too. I'm like, what, what's that about? Uh, and those are just, I think those are just pictures. Like they're not actually sharing the 3D projects. They're just pictures of them. But I think the only way for them to share the pictures is to put it as a, a listing as if it was a product, but it's not for sale or anything. Okay, let me move this over. Okay. So I think that's how I'm gonna do the ear. I just hope it works. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should actually, I think I have to start in here. It should be like this. Hmm. I'm still thinking about if this ear will work. I think... Oh my gosh, this is hard. I think this piece has to be white. Oh yeah, yeah, all of these should be... Please. Oh, can I do a tall bamboo block with leaves? Uh, I'll, I'll search it out and see if I can make that for the final video. But for now, I'm still trying to figure out this head. Uh, 
Okay, so... It appears... It's kind of hard to tell how large this ear is. I'm trying to zoom in and see. It's one... It should be four by four, I'm pretty sure. Which means there should be two spaces left here. And that means... Hmm. I have to do it like that. I think so. The last time I made the polar bear ear, it was really hard to visualize it when it was 2D. But once I started ironing them and putting them together, um, it was a lot easier to figure out. So I think I can only, I can only tell if this is the right way to do it after I iron it. But I think that it will work. I think it will. Uh, let's just hope for the best. I don't I don't really like how this looks though, like this piece. It looks really strange, but that's the only way to do it if you want to attach the ear like that. So I think or hmm, how else could I do it? If I just do it if I put this back here. And it's going to attach like that. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any ideas? Hmm. If I leave it like that... Hmm. What you thinking? Do you guys think... Oops. Do you guys think uh, the ears will fit in if I do it like this? Okay, I'll leave it like this for now and see how it goes. But uh, now I need to make uh, another of this. And uh, let's see if I have enough colors. Could you do Five Nights at Freddy's? I've never played that game, but I think Philo Pixie has made a few Five Nights at Freddy themed projects. So you should check her uh, channel out. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll stick with this design for now and see if I want to make any changes afterwards. It's already been an hour of perler beating. It takes a long time to figure these out. Oh no, I have to move it more to the right again. 
I'm just making the same piece as this, but just on the, the other side. Minecraft spawn eggs. Uh, I can try to make some spawn eggs one day if I make a Minecraft accessories video. Maybe I'll do it with mini beads because there are lots of of those spawn eggs. Okay, almost done. The sides of the panda. Okay. Uh, can I do a horse? I also, I really want to make a Minecraft horse as well. Uh, the, des the design of a horse is pretty hard too because its head is slanted. So I need to figure out a way to attach it um, so that it can look right. Otherwise it'll look like a giraffe. I think that's all there is to it. Did I do this piece right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, are you guys all st still in school? Any ideas? Okay. Good luck on your your test, burners. Okay, all done, this piece. If any of you guys are still in school, how is online school for you guys? Because I completely missed online school. I never really had to take any Zoom classes because by the time that happened, I already graduated. Um, but I did experience online school for like three months before I graduated. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for joining the stream. Hi, Xavier. Okay, I am finished. These pieces should be the same. Yep, yep. And then... Let me think. How should I attach... I'm looking back on this piece again. My my panda for reference. No, not my panda, my polar bear for reference. Yeah, I think I'll do it like this. The same way I did it for the polar bear. Ooh. Uh, so... Oh my god, chat. Uh, okay, hearing about how people are doing online school, it just, it's so sad. Like, yeah, 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 like things like doing gym and band. Like, I wonder how students can do that now that everything's online. 
Hi, Steel Canadian. I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, how do I come up with these ideas? Well, actually, somebody suggested to do the panda. So I'm just following the requests. Uh, but we're trying to figure out how to make the panda's head right now. Oh, sorry to hear that, Mason. I hope you're feeling better. Mm, okay. Uh, let's finish up with the bottom of the Minecraft's head. This should look pretty similar to this one. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so is there space here? Two, four, six, seven. Oh no, it's not enough space down there. Uh, I should have moved this up a bit, but let's just make this. Hold on, let me zoom out a bit. Then, maybe I could, I'll just, I'll do it over here. Hmm, okay. Or I could, how about, Wait, no, no, no. I know what to do. First, I'm going to iron these pieces because the bottom piece, like the chin of the panda, is going to be uh, a tricky one. So let's start ironing. Let's do an ironing break. Um, I'm because I need to I need to preheat my iron first. Here, this is the iron I always use. Okay, while that preheats, I'll just hang out with the chat. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do the masking tape method for ironing. So what I have here is a large piece of uh, painter's tape all stuck together. And then place it on top to get it. Oh, wait, let me double check if this is correct. If the templates are good. Mm -hmm. I think it should be okay. If there's any mistake, I can always fix it later. What's my favorite Minecraft animal? Mm. 
Probably the turtles, because I love turtles. Okay, yeah, let me just double check once more that this is okay. We're ironing. And then we can get started with the masking tape method. I'm pretty sure this is okay. Looks about right to me. I just want to make sure that they fit. And I think it will. My iron's almost ready, so... Okay. If I make a mistake, I'll show you guys how I fix my mistakes. This tape is not big enough for all the pieces. So, I'm gonna... Add some more to it. I hope nothing gets ruined in the process of me doing that. Okay. Oops, this part looks like it's about to... Oh, no. Saved it just in time. It's really hard for me to do this on a live stream because of the position of, like, the cameras and everything. So, I hope I don't mess anything up. Especially since I'm using two pegboards this time. Is the panda ear rectangular? I'm trying to... It's really... Oh, you're, maybe you're right. It's... Okay, I can fix that afterwards. It's... I need to look at... Hold on. Let me take a look at pictures of... Uh, of the panda in a different angle because... Okay, because this is the only angle that I can find that... Oh, you're right, maybe it is rectangular. Ooh. I already put on the tape. Oh, no. Okay, uh, oh, you're right. Maybe it's five by four. Hmm, okay, I can fix it since I'm using the masking tape method. Okay, this is dangerous. Dangerous. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, hold on. I need a... Uh, need something to support this. There we go. Oh my gosh. How does it look? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Just. I use sticky tack to like uh, make the pegboard stay on the table. But uh, here are the pieces that I have. And you said that the ear is actually uh, five by four. Like it's a rectangular piece, so I agree. I need to change that up. So that 
I can still fix it. I just need to take this piece. I need to take this bead out. I'll add it here. As well as this one out. And add it here. And then for the panda's ear, I'll add an extra row. One, two, three, four, like that. Does that look right now for the panda's ears? I think, I think that would be, it's so hard to tell from this angle of the panda but from another from another angle when you look at it here oops when you look at it oh my gosh this browser I think yeah you get the idea when I when I'm looking at this picture of the panda here it looks like a rectangle so it should be five by four for the ears now let me get out my ironing paper This is my ironing paper. One more check before ironing. Make sure these pieces are good. I'm really worried about the ears. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to leave spaces for the the snout. So uh Oh you're right and thank you for reminding me, Topher. I have to fix the other ear as well. Their other ear is fixed. Let's hope this works. Now, uh, let me think again about the about the snout. So the snout is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five. So. 7 by 5 in a 7 by 5 space so this is 1 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 6 7 so let me see what i could do here um i think i could attach the snout if i just remove like these beads here and then uh, I'm also going to have the space here I'll just go with this for now once I make the snout it'll it should fit stick into these holes Okay, that's the plan. Hope it works. Or I could also... Hmm. Yeah, I could do it like this. Or...
Thanks for joining the stream, Life on Mars. Yeah, okay, so I'm thinking if I do it like this, then I can attach the snout. I have to imagine in my head what it's going to look like. Oh, there's a music stuff. Okay. Hi, Michael. Thanks for joining the stream. Okay. I'm thinking about how to do this. I'm going to make the bottom piece of the the panda's head uh, come through here just slightly so that I can attach the side pieces to it and then so that's how I did it for the polar bear let's see yeah I just like left little holes in the polar bear so it should be the same for the panda. Okay. That should be good. Okay, I think we are good to iron. This ironing paper is too small too. Hmm, I need to get some larger paper. This is the largest paper I have. Okay, this will cover it all, hopefully. Let me just make sure Beads aren't moving in weird directions. Because sometimes that happens when I'm reusing masking tape. I'm so scared that this will be messed up. But once I do my actual video, you guys will have a, a much better idea of how to make this. Okay. Got the iron. Hi GamerBoy12, thanks for joining the stream. We are ironing, we're ironing and hoping for the best. I think what we're gonna do is do the snout after this. And then the final part is uh, 
the the bottom like the chin of the panda i think that's the easiest way to figure out how to attach the mouth How do I make my designs? Oh, uh, well, I guess this, like, this live stream is kind of showing you how I'm doing it. I'm just, like, thinking on the spot, like, how how to move the, the beads in a way so that they can fit together like a puzzle. Can you try to pronounce my full name, please? Uh, Werner's Wiegertz. Sorry if I didn't say it correctly. Did I over iron this? I hope not. Okay. The worst thing to do with these is over iron because if you under iron them, it's okay. You can always go back and iron them some more. But if I over iron them, then the, the pieces um, won't be able to fit together. So that's one of the biggest things I worry about when I'm doing these kind of projects. Hot, hot, hot. It's really hot. Ooh. You also have to be really careful when peeling the tape off because sometimes some of the beads didn't fuse properly. So like you might have one stray bead uh, coming off when you're peeling the tape. But I think, I think I did a good job and oh, I think I see one potential stray bead but I'll just iron it on the other side and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Ta-da! One side. All done. And then I can just... Well, it's better if I use another. Another! Okay, all done. Now let's iron the other side. What are you guys saying in the chat? I can't keep up. Oh, how old are you and do you watch anime? I'm 22 and I watch a lot of anime. Uh, I watch anime every week. Uh, so far, I've been watching Naruto, Shippuden, and Jujutsu Kaisen. I am not 24, 23 yet. I'm still 22. We're not completely done the panda yet. We're only done a few parts of the face, but we still need to do uh, the mouth and the, the bottom, like the chin of the panda. I think these are all ironed pretty well. So if you want to know how to iron pearly beads, I do have a video on how I iron it. 
Um, also, my iron is on setting number three, which is the polyester setting. And I just like do it in a circular motion like this until I can see an imprint of the beads on the paper. Uh, I just have to fix the ears a little bit because this side wasn't ironed uh, that well. But yeah, it only takes a couple minutes to do um, both sides. And I think these pieces are ready. And then get a heavy book and flatten it like that to keep it so it doesn't bend while it's cooling down. Yep. Do I like Among Us? Uh, I do. Sorry, I'm reading like multiple <laughs> comments at the same time. I, I, I do like Among Us a lot. Like I, I made these Among Us sprites that you see in the background. I really like playing the game. Uh, yeah, it's really fun. Hi, Melina. Thanks for joining the stream. Am I going to make an iron golem? Oh, I've actually, I've never, I've never made an iron golem even in the game. So at first I have to make it in the game before I make uh, a real one. Same thing with the panda. Like I'm, I'm going to try to find a panda first in the game before I finish my final video. Oh, are some of you actually making <laughs> this panda at the same time as me? Because I'm not sure if the templates are completely right yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. So if there's a mistake, you'll also have to fix the mistake on your side if you're also making the panda at the same time as me. But I really hope there aren't too many big mistakes. Um, otherwise, I will show you how to fix them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think so far... The templates look like they're they're right i don't know we're gonna test them out that's why um, i ironed these first pieces um, instead of making all the pieces and iron them uh, all at the same time how did they get the name sprites uh i'm not sure why they're called sprites but like in the video game community like anytime you see those 8-bit pixel characters they're called like pixel sprites so um i don't know why they're called sprites but i like the name it's really cute when you call them sprites okay let me check if they are flattened i think i think they're good let me just double check make sure i don't need to iron them a bit more I feel like this piece might need to be ironed just a bit more later, but for now, I'm just going to test it out to see if the pieces will fit. I'm just test I'm testing out the ears mainly because uh, the ears are hard to it's hard to visualize when it's 2D. Uh okay. So, I do it like this. And then this So far, this is how they're connected. And the top piece goes like so. 
And the earpiece. This is the one I'm concerned about. But it works. Uh, I might change it up in my final design, but it worked. It, it went in. And the, the last part I need to stabilize this is... Oh yeah, I, I have to do the back side too. I have to do... Here, and the bottom, and then the, the snout. Yeah, I think that's good. I might... I'll have to... I might change up the ear design in my final video, but so far this is the panda's head. Uh, I just need to do the other parts now. I think maybe... I might not have time to do the rest of the body. If I don't have time to do the rest of the body, I'll do a part two live stream if you guys are interested. Hmm. Yeah, the, the ear, I think the design could be better. It could be improved. But this is what I have for now. And then, uh, yeah, let's make the, the rest of it. First, I'll do the back of the head. I don't, yeah, I don't even know what the back of the head looks like. Well, it looks like it would just be... It would just be like mainly white with some light gray. I'll make the, uh, yeah, I'll make the bottom, I mean the back of the head here. And I'm just copying the, the front face, but in a different shape. I mean, not a different shape, with different, different colors. This is a very large project to do. It's probably going to be my biggest Minecraft character. Yeah, this, this is just pretty much the same, but no holes and just completely white. And I think actually one bead here will be... Hmm, it will be grayish. Yeah, I'll make this one a uh, light gray. Like that. There.
I think starting at this point, I'll add some lighter gray again. It doesn't really matter what the back of the head looks like because you probably won't see it. But I'm thinking of making a sitting, uh, like a sitting up panda, like the one you see, um, the one you see right down here. You see that panda that's sitting up like that. I'm thinking of of doing a panda like that one in my final video. So I'll, you you'll see the back of its head. So it it's it's good to make the back look good as well. So. Yeah, down here will be a lighter shade of gray. It all looks white on the camera. It can't really pick it up, uh, but I'm using a different shade. Almost done this. Did I do this right? Oh, no, this one should be down here. Yeah, it should be two, four, six, eight, ten. Four, six, eight, ten. go that sh should be it and then we just fill it up with white okay I think one more row of dark of, of a uh, light gray and then the rest will be white. Yep, pretty much it. How could you place the beads without putting your head down up close? Uh... Oh, I'm not sure. I just... I can see it pretty clearly, like, just from, from here to here. Maybe I'm just used to it because I've been doing it a long time. But if you are using mini beads, like the 2.6 millimeter beads, those are super tiny. So you might have to like look really closely to make sure you don't make any mistakes. But these are pretty big beads. They're the five millimeter uh, midi art cow beads. Okay, this one is all done. Uh, and then, oh wait, no, this is not all done. One more piece here. One more bead right there. And then, we need to finish the uh, snout and then the uh, chin of the panda. So for my reference, I have... Uh, okay, so I have to see how to do... Why is it whiter when it's melted? I think it's just the lighting with the pegboard. The contrast of the yellow and white makes it look different. But when it's ironed, this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to make the... So this is the back of the panda's head. And now I'm going to have to make the, the mouth. 
Uh, so the the panda's mouth here, it you see it's only two beads in thickness. With my polar bear, it was three beads in thickness. So it's really similar. Um, so I'm just gonna do like the same idea that I did with the polar bear. And it looks like for this, I'm going to, I'm gonna need to paint the top of the nose portion here white, cause down here is black, but then here, you shouldn't see any black up here, so I'm gonna have to use some white out or paint to get that to be white. Uh, so let's make the face of, like the face of the the mouth, the front face of the mouth. Here's its little nose. And then, yeah, that should be easy. And then we're gonna need some pink. That's bubble gum. Bah. So I'm gonna use this pink to make the the little tongue that's sticking out. Wow, see even its even its head, like the mouth is so big. One more bead. There. And then I have to shade it. And then, yes, that is how I'm doing the mouth. And again, I'm I'm just doing uh, I'm sh I'm doing the full rectangle first before I make the the jagged edges. So that's what the the mouth would look like. Mm, but since we need them to connect to the side pieces first, uh, let me first hold on. Uh, let me just change up this color actually to the lightest gray I have. There. So the sides of the the panda's mouth it's it's just a two by uh five rectangle but because i need to stick it into its face i'm actually going to have one row have three beads We might, oh. Okay, uh, let's continue. So, if you were just making rectangles, this is what you would have. However, since we are trying to make it like a, a puzzle piece, 
we need to remove some beads and then also add some to the edge so that it can click in to the face so what did we have um so let me think okay so i think i'm going to remove beads here and here And then there's a hole in the third position here. So one, two, three, there should be an extra bead here to um, fit in to its, the head. And then if I do like that, uh, actually I can, can probably do it like this ooh this is tricky Let me just see what it would look like if I removed it like this. And then if I remove one here, one here, and then like this is like a, a T. Then would that be good? Hmm. I think that could work. This part is always the trickiest. And then if I do the same thing on the other side, then then I'll have, yeah, then then it will work, hopefully. So, right, yep, okay. Mm. That is the side of the mouth and then the top of the mouth would look would have to fit into these two holes okay let's try it let's try to make this design the top part of the mouth is completely white Can I post this stream like the other one? Yeah, I'll leave the stream up if you guys want to like ever do a live, um, like not a live, a real time perler bead with me. So I'll, I'll post this stream and leave it up for anyone who wants to come back to it or couldn't watch the full thing. Okay, I think I got it. So this is how the top of the mouth will be because it's gonna be stuck into these holes and then uh yeah like that i'm just thinking i might be missing wait hold on let me see how this will look.
Sorry guys, I'm in my thinking mode because I have to imagine this in 3D when it's 2D right now. Uh, I think I see how this is going to turn out, but not sure if it's going to click together nicely. Yeah, it's it's really hard to to work when it's only when the thickness is only two. It's only two beats. It's harder to click together when it's like that. Uh, I think I see. I see how this is gonna go. It has to be like that. Right? Or is that, does that not work? No, it should work, I think. Hmm. I think this will work. Hopefully it works. These four pieces here, making up the... the, the, the panda's mouth. Can you guys see it? Like when you see this 2D arrangement of pieces, can you imagine them fitting together and then attaching, like sticking into its face through these holes? <laughs> uh, I hope she makes a Minecraft cat. I will eventually make one. I will try to make um, like as many animals as I can because I love the Minecraft animals. Uh, if any of you guys also like cats, uh, I really like the Siamese and um, orange tabby cats. So maybe if I do make one in the future, um, those are the colors you'll see. Okay, sorry. Let me continue thinking about this. I think that's gonna work. I think this is how it's... It's gonna work. Uh, let's hope... Let's hope it works. <laughs> okay, and then, um... The last part I need to do is the bottom... Of the... Pandas... Um, uh, yeah, the bottom of the panda's head, which I will do on another pegboard. But for now, let's, let's just iron these pieces first. Okay, so, um, now I'm showing you... Now I'm showing you direct ironing which is just ironing right on the on the board. So uh, this one is a bit more risky because there's the possibility that your pegboards will start warping a little bit. Uh, but when I do it directly on the board, I try not to go like for too long or else it'll um, get really heated and warp more. Uh, so yeah, once my iron heats up, I'll show you guys uh, how I try to reverse any sort of warping so that it stays flat for the next time you use them.
Bye, stop motion girl. Thanks for joining the stream. Let me catch up on the chat. What are you guys talking about? Dolphins. Minecraft dolphins. I also want to make a Minecraft dolphin. I think I got a request for that um, from one of my viewers. Uh, I think that one would be fun to make as well. But their color is really interesting. It's like a bluish gray, I think. Or maybe that's just the, the shaders I'm using. Otherwise, I would probably just use all my different shades of grey to make a dolphin one day. Uh, what kind of sheets do I use to iron? So this is... Um, this is the ironing paper from ArtCal. But if you um, just have parchment paper, like the kind with no wax, just completely dry uh just regular parchment paper you can use that just don't use wax paper because that will get on your iron and it will like mess it all up i'm just completely iffy on whether or not this will actually like stick together if this will go if this will go right i don't know this part i'm i'm the most unsure about the the math here but we'll try it out and see if if it works if it doesn't work then we'll just have to find out what happened and then the last part i'll make the bottom of the head and I don't know, should I do a part two of this live stream or should I just keep going? I have all afternoon. I'm worried about the cross, like the connection point is the only point where they'll connect. Yeah. I, I'll probably change that up when I do the final design. But this is what I came up with, like, on the spot for now. Usually when I'm designing these by myself, like, not on a live stream, I have a lot more time to, like, fix things and experiment. Alright, I think my iron is all preheated and let's directly iron these pieces so the important thing about direct ironing is just not to lift the iron up at any point because you might lift up the ironing paper and if some of the beads are touching like already fused to the paper like like they're imprinted like that you could move them and then um, misplace like displace them which will cause the piece to be wrong so you don't want to do that you want to just keep it on the flat on the pegboard at all times and just go in a circular motion like this and so you see all the beads are fused I think most of the beads are fused on this one. I can already feel the pegboard is warping a little bit. So once I finish ironing this side, 
I'm going to flip it over and then press down on the pegboard. Press down on the pegboard like this to make sure it goes back to normal and like I keep it face down like this as it cools down. You can see it's a little bent but not, not too much. But anyway, let's continue ironing. Where's my second ironing paper? And then iron the other side. I have clear pegboards and they all melted. Oh. Okay, clear pegboards. The last time I ironed directly on a clear pegboard, it warped so much that I was too scared to directly iron on them again. So I just, uh, oops, I think I over ironed this piece a bit. I think I over ironed a few pieces. Oops. Yeah, you can see this one's over ironed a little bit. I hope it will still click together. Over ironing is the worst because then it makes it harder to click together. But let's let's flatten this. Uh Cutiecraft, you said you're going to make the body from small beads, right? But the whole size is going to be different, so you can't add an acrylic rod. That's true. That's a good point. I think in that case, um, if I want to add the acrylic rod, I would have to just leave one whole mini bead out. Like I have to make a whole, um, like a whole space just by taking out one mini bead. Hi, Samuel. Thanks for joining the stream. I'm just waiting for um, the head pieces that I'm making to cool down and be flat. Sometimes I'm impatient and I don't wait for it to completely cool down. So let's let's take a look at if these pieces are ready. Ta-da. These are all the pieces. Um, the first one I'll connect is the back of the head. There we go. Now, for the snout, I'm really unsure of if, if this will even work. But this goes here. So, this piece we made, go here, uh, 
then this piece goes in like so. Like right like this. Here. It worked. Guys, it worked. Sorry, is it blurry? Can you see that clearly? Ta-da! This is the snout. And now I know, like, I, I don't even need to put these beads here. Yeah, I, I can... I'm gonna improve the final design in my in my video so okay this is the head but we have to do the bottom so let's do this last piece oh wait sorry this piece should be this way the tongue is supposed to be like this <laughs> Ta -da! wow this is the biggest head that I have ever made. Like compared to the polar bear, this panda could eat him. <laughs> okay, now we just need to do the, the bottom. So let's finish this up. And I don't know if you guys will stay for the body, but I do have some body pieces already prepared. Uh, so if you guys are able to stay for that, that would be really awesome. Let me zoom in. Okay, so the... I'm gonna start by just copying the top of the head because the bottom has the same, same design. Um, except there's no space for the ears. Uh, bye, Michael. Thank you for joining the stream. Okay, this is gonna be... The final piece for the head. Oops. How thick should you iron the beads in order for them to click together? Uh, okay, so when I iron my beads, like, they only decrease in thickness by, like, one millimeter uh, they shouldn't be too different from their original form so like uh i think in my past videos i've said that i ironed them until they're like 0 0.4 centimeters around that thickness Why I keep grabbing the wrong color? Uh, okay. Let's see. Actually, I'm sorry. The The bottom piece is slightly different from the, from the top of the head. So this is going to be a slightly different design from the ones you've seen previously. Uh, Bethany, Bethany Smith, uh, can you make an official video for this like you did for the other live stream? Yep, I will be making an official video for this, so uh, if you can't stay for the live stream, don't worry, you can learn how to make 
the Minecraft Panda in a, a video that I will be making. <laughs> Uh, how thick after melting should the mini beads be? So for mini beads, ooh, I don't know actually. I don't have a mini bead sprite with me right now. Um, but it shouldn't be too thin. Like it should only be just a tiny bit smaller in, in height than the original uh, height of the bead. Uh, let me just I'm trying to figure out the bottom here. So sorry if I don't see the chat Yeah, I think that's it that's it for the I think I'm gonna just make it completely Gray Like a light gray. Mm hmm. Actually, I'll make the sides a darker gray. I don't know if you can even tell the difference from from my camera. It's very faint. How do you know what the pattern is to make a 3D a 3D project? Uh well I have to figure it out. Like I am right now. I, I'm like I'm just looking at the shape of the piece of like the edges and trying to figure out what can fit into those edges. It's yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I just you just have to do it. You have to grab your beads, place it on the board and just keep comparing to see if if they will fit together i don't like i don't draw or um prepare anything beforehand it's really easy once you get the hang of it so the bottom of the panda's head is going to be this uh very very light gray and the difference with the the chin part compared with the top of the head is that there's going to be an extension that will go out to the mouth then it will click perfectly in and make a really solid head that's better than I think the I would say would be better than my polar bear design um, but I will do a final uh, video to uh, show you like uh, the best design I could come up with Water break. Okay, so um, now, now I have to think about how to attach this to the front of the face. So essentially this will fit like that. Yeah, I think that work. But then I need to extend it so that it goes to the the rest of the mouth.
Am I cutting out? Is my audio cutting out sometimes? Somebody said that I'm muting. I don't... I'm not muting my mic or anything. If it's... If the audio is cutting out, ooh, then I hope that doesn't... Well, I guess some parts of what I'm saying is cut out. Ah, uh, I hope you heard what I, I've been saying. Otherwise, I, I've been talking to nobody. <laughs> I think this is how... This is it. This is the bottom of the... Uh, this is the bottom of the panda's head. Yeah, this this should this should work. This should fit perfectly, and then connect everything together. I'll just double check by placing it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, uh, sometimes I like to, I like to place the rest of the pieces on before I iron, just to make sure that it will fit in. Iron once, but count twice, just to make sure. Because once you iron, there's no... Well, there is going back. You can go back and fix it, but it's just troublesome. <laughs> so always count twice to make sure it's absolutely correct. And yep, I think that's ready to be ironed. I'm gonna search up some other faces for the main video to see what else I could make because I'm not gonna make the same face for my main video. Okay, should I make this face for like the final video? It's like a sad crying face or should I do like a like a cute face? I don't know. Or look, five personalities of pandas. Oh, there's a happy smiley one. Maybe I'll just do the happy smiley face. There's an angry panda face. I think there's also a brown panda. Yeah, that one. This one is a brown panda. There's also just like a regular grumpy looking panda. Um, I don't know which which one do you guys think I should make? Maybe just the smiley panda, the one that's smiling, because I already did the one with its tongue sticking out. The worried panda. Which is this one? The worried panda. Hi, Sabrina. Thanks for joining the stream again. I kind of want to combine designs and make a brown panda with one of the face expressions. Yeah, go for it. That would look really cool. Yeah, this one looks like a like the sick, sad... Panda with snot coming out of its nose. Do grumpy gray one. The angry panda looks so mad. I don't I don't want to make a mad one. 
I just feel like it's gonna bring negative vibes. Oh, the sad eyes, panda. Oh, I thought that was like a, a cute, oh wait, this, is it this one? Is this the sad eyes, panda? Yeah, this one is really good. This baby panda with the sad eyes. Okay, I can make that one for the main video. Or I'll just make multiple face plates. You can change them out like a Nendoroid. You should do a brown panda on its back like it's, lay like it's laying down. The brown panda is very cute, but I don't know if I... S yeah, do I have enough brown beads for this? I don't know if I have enough shades. I only have like three shades, but I could make one with mini beads possibly. I'll see. I'll see if I have enough beads because it will use up a lot of white beads. And I want to save up some of my white beads for future projects like, like a llama or a horse. But uh, if it's mini beads, I actually have a whole bunch of white beads. So maybe I could make a, a brown panda. We'll see. Oh, there's a... Oh, this is the... This is the worried panda that hides its face in the rain. Oh, that's so cute. I've never been into the ju uh, jungle biome in my world. So I really want to do that. Um... In my in my game first then i can actually because I, I i don't know where the jungles are in my game but i found like the seed map for minecraft and now i i know like coordinates for the jungle so i'm gonna head over there one day t to search for some pandas maybe i'll i'll stream it on twitch just me hunting for well not hunting searching for a panda Okay, yeah, I'll see. I'll I'll see which one which which face I like the most. Okay, yeah. I I like the worried one. The worried face. So cute. But for now, uh, we're just finishing up the silly panda. I think my iron is ready, so... Let's... Yep. Let's just iron this. And finish up the head. Wow, it's almost six o'clock. I've spent almost three hours just on the head last time it took me this long just to, to make a whole axolotl last stream we did we made this whole thing but like this is so small compared to the panda which is going to be huge once i make the the body using min midi beads uh but but for now i'm going to make it for this one i'm going to make it with uh mini beads to make it into a baby panda In your official video, can you make a bamboo tree? Uh, uh, I'm gonna make like a, a bamboo piece that the panda can hold, definitely, because that's the perfect accessory to go with it. Um, I don't know how big it will be though. Have you made a Minecraft chicken video? No, I haven't made a chicken yet. I actually, I haven't really made many farm animals in Minecraft. I've only made a, a sheep. So maybe one day I'll make a chicken. But you can always check YouTube to see if somebody else made one. I think somebody else has a, a Minecraft chicken video. 
but I haven't made one yet. You can hot glue the panda's ears to the face. Well, actually, uh, the way I designed it earlier with you guys was just, you just stick it in like that. So you don't really need to glue it. But, um, I might change that up later. Okay, time to iron. Okay, uh, is this side done? It looks like it's not fully fused. That was a bit fast. Yeah, I should keep going. Yep, that looks good now. For the head, you could have done the same thing as with the polar bear, but the hole is on top. Oh, hmm. Not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna re-examine how I do the ears in my final video, so maybe it'll be better than what I came up with this time. How did you sort all of your beads? Uh, oh, bye Bringers. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, I don't sort my beads because they come in bags of 1,000, so they're already sorted. I, I used to sort them. I just like stuck my whole hand in the bucket and picked out one color at a time but now i i don't do that i just have bags of one color so that i don't need to spend time sorting anymore okay let's let this one cool down I just made a Mega Man helmet. It came out really nice. Ooh, nice job. Sounds like that was fun to make. In your next video, can you make flowers? I made some flowers in actually I I um made some mini bead flowers once in my like birthday video where I made like a Minecraft cake. It wasn't the prettiest cake, but after adding some pearl bead decorations on it, it looked a lot cuter. Um and uh, that's when I made some mini bead flowers. Hi Jack, thanks for joining the stream. I'm just waiting for the last piece of the panda head to cool down. And then we'll have our whole panda head fully assembled. As long as this piece turns out right. I think it will. This is the part we're trying to make. First time uh, I see you in a live stream, but I love your videos. Hello from Brazil. Thank you, Lua. Hello from Canada. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's check, see if this is. I just dropped my iron, I hope it didn't die. I hope it didn't break. <sighs> okay. Final piece of the head. Is it going to fit? Yep. Perfect. That is the panda head. It's huge. Look how big that is. Look how big that is compared to the polar bear. Are, are pandas that big? Well, in the Toronto Zoo, we actually had pandas and polar bears at the same time at one point. Uh, the pandas were like, they were in Toronto for five years before they moved to the Calgary Zoo, I believe. Um, but yeah, at some point in Toronto, in Toronto, Canada, we had pandas. We had two pandas. I, I saw them, I visited them. Um, a couple years ago, before they moved to Calgary or whatever other province it was. And they are, I feel like they're both very similar in size, but the Minecraft panda is so much like bigger. Look at its head. Double the size of a polar bear. Chunky. <laughs> yeah, it's a chunky panda. Yeah, I do want to... I do want to fix the ears a bit, but I really like how the the bottom part of the panda connects perfectly with the the mouth instead of how I used to do it with the polar bear. Like if you pull here, you could you could take off the mouth, um, but in this way, there's no way that mouth is going anywhere. So, yeah, so that's the panda. Now, it's six o'clock. Uh, should I do the rest of the panda or should I save that for tomorrow, a, a part two live stream? I mean, I don't know. I think uh, maybe I could save it for a part two because uh, there are a lot of pieces. It'll probably take me like another three hours to finish the 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 panda's body So I think I'm gonna take a little break and do a part two of this panda live stream I mean if you if you can't join in on part two you can always check out uh, The final video which will come out, but I am a bit tired and uh yeah i think i think i will save this the rest of the body for um tomorrow maybe i'll do a live stream tomorrow yeah i mean i can show you guys what i prepared like these are the mini bead body parts but my back kind of aches right now from just like staring uh from making the the head yeah i know tomorrow's monday so a lot of you guys have school i'll do it in the evening probably when everyone's finished school uh but yeah if um if you want to like check out the full assembly eventually i'll post the video so you can always wait until then but i think i'll do a live stream tomorrow evening to finish the rest of the panda because there's a lot of parts you have to make yeah so these are like i prepared these parts already so these i will i just have to make them into puzzle pieces uh, which I want to show you guys how I do. 
uh, live. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll take a little break. Um, maybe just talk to the chat a little bit before I leave. Um, it seems like a lot of you guys are still in school. Hope you're doing okay with like the online school and everything. I can't imagine what that's like to have like a full year of online school. So hope you guys uh, do well in all your studies. Do you have a board just for mini beads? Uh, I have... Well, yeah, I have mini bead boards and midi bead boards. You have to use uh, different boards when you're working with the different size beads. So this is a regular pegboard and the, the mini pegboard uh, Obviously, they're much smaller. The pegs are much smaller and there are a lot more pegs. I think it's like 50 by 50. So that's like 2,500, I think. Yeah. So, and then this one is only 29 by 29. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave in a couple minutes so uh, thank you guys so much for joining and I'm just gonna talk to the chat a little bit longer and then yeah probably end the stream in a bit So tomorrow's stream, I'll probably I'll finish the rest of the body and then um, attach it to this guy, uh, the, the head, and it will be a, a big baby panda. The baby panda will be even bigger than like a lot of the other um, sprites that I've made. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Thanks for the nice words, Haven. How many 3D perler bead things do you have? Wow, I have a lot. I have... Well, I'm looking at my pegboard wall right now. That's where I keep a lot of my 3D uh, Minecraft projects. So I have... I can count already 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, I can't, okay, I have more than 20 3D perler bead things, at least. What's a good time to to live stream? Like I'm in Eastern Standard Time. So I started today's live stream at 3.30, which I don't know what time it would be for you guys, but some of you guys were like getting ready to go to sleep. So I don't know what's the best time when everybody can make it, but um, I'm really glad that some of you guys are able to join um, and hopefully tomorrow when I do the part two, um, it's like a good time for you guys. But I'm just doing it like in the late afternoon usually when I have nothing else to do. Yeah. Do you like Minecraft a lot? 
I do like Minecraft. It's pretty fun. I like the aspect of like being able to have your own farm and um, make your own world while also killing the hostile mobs because I love action kind of games where you can fight. Um, so I really like that it has both of those where you can have like a chill time just building and crafting but you can also like go on a hunt and um, attack all those mobs Five PM Eastern Standard Time seems like a good time to stream. Okay, yeah, that that could work. I think, yeah, tomorrow maybe I'll I'll try to start around um, four or five. Yeah, later in the afternoon. What kind of music do you like? I personally like Blackpink. Yeah, I love all sorts of K-pop, but I listen to. A lot of different music i listen to like indie music i listen to pop music like classical music jazz i listen to all sorts of music uh bye teresa chan good night yeah i listen to all sorts of music i don't have any particular music that i um that's my favorite because like i like all sorts of music but i do like right now i'm really um i've been listening to conan gray bts of course i know bts uh conan gray came out with a new song called overdrive i love that song you guys should search up conan gray and yeah uh, I think I'll end my live stream about now. My brother is playing piano, so it's gonna be loud f uh, from now, so I think I'll just end my stream now. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out. I do have a TikTok. It's at Cutie Crafts. I don't use it too much, but... Um, I do watch some of the really funny videos on there and I try to post on TikTok sometimes like uh, if if I if I can make a quick video of me just assembling so yeah follow me on my other social media accounts if you have them um, and yeah thank you guys again so much for joining the stream I'll see you guys tomorrow as I finish the rest of the body of the panda um, yeah, tomorrow I should be free to do it, so hope you guys can join in on that one. Uh, I'll schedule it beforehand so you'll know what time I start. Um, have a good night, guys. Bye! And I forgot how to end a stream again. How do I end a stream? Oh my gosh, what what is going on? How do you where's the end button? Alright, bye guys.